Team World. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a private data store using Apertus and the Bitcoin testnet. Uh, pretty simple process. Go ahead and open up Apertus, select the blockchain in which you'd like to store the data. We'll select testnet in this scenario. Uh, select an account that you want to use to uh, fund the etching. And then down below here, you'll see this drop down box uh, uh, named vaults. So we want to create a new vault. Uh, to do this, click on the plus, and we'll call this top secret, uh, and hit enter. You'll notice that it linked this to an address within our Bitcoin testnet wallet. And it's using the private key and the public key of that address to do uh, encryption and decryption of the data that we will etch going forward. So with this uh, selected, uh, if we want to uh, store encrypted information, we'll just Select that, and this is secret. Now keep in mind, Apertus is still beta software, so I wouldn't put anything too sensitive into this box just yet until we work out all the bugs. Uh, but basically, uh, we feel that it's pretty secure in this format. It is using the same encryption that uh, Bitcoin uh, Core uses uh, internally. Uh, let's, let's, so let's send this off. Uh, this is secret. The vault is selected, we'll hit etch, and now uh, we've just put encrypted information onto the Bitcoin testnet. Uh, how do we know it's encrypted? I mean, it looks the same as any other message. Uh, if we were to see this without the vault selected, it would look more like this. Uh, hitting control enter uh, recreates, it basically forces the purchase to go to the blockchain and rebuild it. Uh, so uh, that's what I just did there. So any other user, when they, if they tried to see this message, this is what they'd see. Uh, and you'll only be able to see the data if you have uh, the vault associated with it. Uh, let's rebuild it again uh, with the vault selected and you can see that now it says this is secret. Uh, also, uh, these drop down boxes, anytime you select them uh, here, you can see up on top here, uh, it will give you a, a kind of a a listing of everything associated currently with that vault. Uh, and right now we only have one, uh, one message in the vault. So that's an example of how to use Apertus to store uh, encrypted data on a blockchain. And uh, keep in mind, this could be a message or you could also have used the attach feature and you, can, and you could also uh, use your profile and signature feature along with this uh, as well uh, in order to uh, Keep all all of this all of that would be encrypted along with your etching if you've selected this uh, from the list. All right, thank you very much for your time. Uh, have a great day.